Hey guys, this is Paul R. So this tutorial video is about how to make a realistic window. So shall we start? Before we start, I'll show you some of my assigned shortcuts that will be used in this session. So go to Window Menu, Preferences, and Shortcuts. Type at the filter words or filter text, Hide rest of model. Here I already assigned this as Shift R. Make group as Control G and paste in place as Control Shift V. And so we will begin. Right now I already have an image saved from Google. I will also put it in description below so you can practice. So now import it as an image put it in a proper orientation. So the first thing we're going to make is the main frame and the second is the panel. Assume the thickness and the width of the window is 75 mm by 1000 mm and its height as 1200 mm. So right now, what we are doing is just an outline for making the head, jump, and seal. So make an offset of 50mm, then use push and pull, then make group, Control G. So now, we have a guide. Next is, let's make the head frame. Use the move and tool on both end. Use push and pull with the depth of 50mm. and make it a component. I forgot to mention to you that my assigned component shortcut is Shift-C. I'll name this component as Frame 1. Use this mirror tool from JHS Power Bar, which I will put also the link on description below. So now, copy the head frame by using the Move tool and pressing the Control key. Once you've copied it, Rotate, then align it to the head and seal. Now you will notice that the jump frame still belongs to the head frame component. So to separate it to the other component, just right click to the object and click the make unique. And now it is completely separated. So now, we make the in-between lines visible. Turn on the round corner extension, I will put the link in the description below. Click the edge and click the sharp corner. Make sure to turn off the borders and corners because we will be needing those lines for some adjustments. We are going for the second part, which is the panel. Just copy the main frame, bring it in front of the frame, make all panel frames into unique. After that, adjust the panel frames into a thin layer. The 
adjust the frames to make it looks the same from the image. Now we make a trial on it. We make the frame or move the frame to the bottom then move it again a little bit. I guess 10mm will do. Next, we're going to make the air latch and holder for the glass. First, make a surface. And offset it at 15 millimeters. Use push and pull and make it a group. Make a copy of it and put a space in between for provision of 8mm glass. To make it a curve, use the sharp corner tool. Last part will be putting a texture in our model. We will put a wood like texture. So, how will we do it? Go to Very Asset and click the left arrow here. Click the Material drop down. Find the Wood and Laminate category and choose one. Drag it to the Material section. Now go to class category. And find the glass window neutral. And also drag it to the material section. We have now the texture we want. So the next thing we're going to do 
is to apply it to the object. Applying textures will be easy with the use of bucket tool by opening the default tray. But before that, I'll show you how to show the default tray. So go to Window, Menu Bar, then Default Tray. Hide Tray and Show Tray. That's the way how you show and hide the default tray. Just click the texture you want to apply and it will automatically show to the material tray. Just press the letter B for Bucket Tool and apply it to the surface. The orientation of the texture is not in a proper position. So all you have to do is left click on the surface, then right click, then texture, then position, go to rotate, and rotate it by 90 degrees. And there you have it. The size of the texture is a little bit small, so we have to resize it. Go to edit and change the scale. And then all you have to do is use that method on other objects.
So, there you have it. This is Paul R. presenting to you on how to make a realistic window using SketchUp. Thank you! Hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe.